Hello everybody, my name is Edgar Guzman and I'm here for a selfish reason because I love to talk about my Catholic faith. That's the truth. Um, I've been a part of the church and the diocese and I'm involved with them, uh, but I've needed more of an outlet. I needed a media outlet. That's what I went to school for. And now more than ever, it is so easy uh, to reach out to the world and to see what you guys have to say. Um, and I'm here to talk about that. Uh, if you continue watching, great. If you don't, that's all right, too. This is, like I said, a selfish reason for me to talk out loud because I sound like a crazy person if I'm not in front of a camera or something and I just talk to myself uh, in my bed or in my room just talking out loud. Uh, but I am here in front of a church, if you can't tell. I'm inside a car because it is really windy. We're just getting over a storm and there's another storm coming in. And we tried doing this in front of the church to make it all beautiful, but uh, the wind is killing the audio. So we're in my car, uh, but that's okay. You can tell I'm in front of a, a church, hopefully, uh, because uh, something very special is happening tonight. Uh, Holy Spirit Catholic Church in Fresno is having Cardinal Peter Turkson from the Vatican uh, come and speak about what has taken place in Modesto from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, last week they held a meeting um, as part of, uh, it was the U.S. Regional World Meeting of Popular Movements here in the United States, and they held it in Modesto uh, because of the significance of the immigrants in the Central Valley and uh, the farm laborers and the farm workers, uh, how prominent it is here in the Valley. Uh, that meeting highlighted a number of things. Uh, on the agenda, they talked about housing, migration, and workers' dignity. Over 600 uh, attendants were there uh, talking about clergy and justice activists, community leaders. And it wasn't just Catholics, it was of all denominations. Uh, they were, it was interfaith and uh, discussing about all these vital issues. Uh, that, that agenda was split up within the four days and having over 20 bishops, I think, were in attendance uh, or were scheduled to attend and to give talks and to listen. Uh, Cardinal came. And the bishops were a part of this simply to listen to the community leaders to see their concerns, their issues, and what they had to say. Uh, this, this conference was worldwide. Uh, 12 countries were there, uh, the representing 12 countries and, and sharing the issues that were common throughout. Um, Peter Turkson, uh, Cardinal Turkson, is here today to talk a little bit more about what took place there and hopefully he has a, a special message for Pope Francis. Those who attended the conference actually had a very special message from Pope Francis. It was a six-page letter uh, that he sent to be read there in English and in Spanish. It highlighted a number of things. Um, uh, and some of that things I'll read to you right now. He, he was speaking about the, uh, the moral blindness and indifference. He's been talking about that a lot lately. He's saying the unemployment is real, the violence is real, the corruption is real, the identity crisis is real, the gutting of democracy is real. That's a harsh wake-up call to everybody that was there to say, we hear you, we know. Uh, and this isn't just Pope Francis an ocean away. Cardinal being here, a right-hand man of Pope Francis, means Vatican is listening to us. The Vatican wants to know what's going on. Pope Francis wants to know. So Catholics... Rome is not just an ocean away. Uh, it is here, within our midst. Uh, part of what was also spoken there um, was workers' dignity. Now, they looked into... We had a lot of community leaders that represented um, fishermen, labor workers, field labor workers, uh, even some people that, that on the agenda they spoke about those uh, you'd call them dumpster divers or people who collect uh, recyclables and for, for cash. And that was one of the things they spoke about there. This is a very, very special event. Um, I am honored uh, that I'm going to be able to attend this just to listen to Cardinal Turkson. Hopefully grab a picture to add him to my Catholic celebrity photos that I have. Uh, this is starting a very special week because this will be the fourth year, I believe, uh, that I'll be attending uh, the Religious Educational Congress in Anaheim. Maybe you'll be attending too. And that's a very special week because it's a conference of who's who's and uh, thousands, thousands of Catholics and non-Catholics attending and speaking and learning and just growing in their faith. So if you guys watch uh, videos to, that are to come, 
hopefully you hear a little bit more details about what's going to be spoken about here. This is a very exciting time. Keep me in your prayers and Pope Francis and all uh, of religious and clergy. And uh, thank you for watching.